We will now look at the installation of a Liberty system installed over an uninsulated wood deck. Liberty mechanically attached base sheet, also called Liberty MA base, is a 1 meter or 39 and 3 eighths inch wide membrane that is surfaced on the top with a plastic film designed to maximize the attachment of other self-adhering Liberty membranes. This sheet is designed to be mechanically attached directly to the deck or installed above ISO insulation. For installation over ISO, see the Liberty instructions. Over nailable decks, the Liberty MA base sheet is nailed with a typical base sheet pattern using one inch square or round metal capped nails. Start by removing a piece one third of the width of a Liberty MA base sheet to ensure that the cap sheet side seams do not line up directly over the base sheet seams. Starting at the low side of the roof, position the one third width sheet parallel to the edge of the roof. Overhang the roof's edge to accommodate the anticipated perimeter termination detail. Allow the sheet to relax and remove any wrinkles to provide the smoothest surface for other plies. Whether installing Liberty mechanically attached base sheet or Liberty self-adhered base sheet, your edge metal details are the same. At the edge of the roof, install drip edges. Primed metal drip edge is required at eaves and rakes on Liberty systems. At eaves and rakes, first install Liberty base sheet as above. Then install a bed of Leak Buster Matrix 201 Premium SBS flashing cement and set the metal drip edge into it. Next, to better seal the flange to the base sheet base ply, nail the drip edge three inches on centers in a staggered pattern using roofing nails. Finally, apply a 1 16th to 1 8th inch troweling of Leak Buster Matrix 201 Premium SBS flashing cement to the top of the metal prior to installing the Liberty cap sheet over the drip edges. Using a notched trowel helps assure a proper application rate of adhesive. Note, Liberty systems require the use of SBS adhesives and cements. Other non-SBS cements may have an adverse reaction and damage the Liberty membranes. Make certain to use the correct adhesives and cements with Liberty systems. Where flanged metal termination and penetration flashings are to be installed, they must be primed and should be installed in a 1 16th to 1 8th inch troweling of Leak Buster Matrix 201 Premium SBS flashing cement over the Liberty base ply sheet. In addition, apply a troweling of Leak Buster Matrix 201 Premium SBS flashing cement to the top of any metal flanges prior to the application of the Liberty cap sheet. Now, install the remaining base sheets. The first row of fasteners at the edge of the roof will be 1 to 2 inches from the leading edge and on 9 inch centers. Locate a second row of fasteners in the lap formed with the next course of base MA. Subsequent courses of mechanically attached base sheet are positioned with the side lap aligned to the lay line on the preceding sheet. Position the sheet and avoid wrinkles. Allow the sheet to relax. Shuffle your feet on the sheet and nail in all three rows while working down the sheet. Mechanically fasten the full width sheet with three rows of fasteners. The first row in the lap will be one to two inches from the leading edge and on nine inch centers. Locate the second row of fasteners 14 inches from the leading edge on 18 inch centers. The third row of fasteners is positioned 26 inches from the leading edge on 18 inch centers. The centers for the second and third rows should be staggered to minimize the risk of uplift and other movements. Continue to apply base sheet MA across the roof, overlapping the preceding sheet a minimum of 6 inches. Where wind uplift resistance is a concern, you may apply a bead of caulk in this overlap and then nail the overlap area a minimum of 6 inches on centers. End laps and adjacent courses should be offset a minimum of 36 inches to reduce the risk of leaks.